Okay, I'm going to show you how I do my Node MCU build, uh, starting kind of from scratch here. So I'm in the Chili Pepper ESP32 workspace. I go over to Docs, and there's a building the firmware section. And I'm going to do this whole Linux build environment. Uh, and so what I do is I uh, will use Oracle to do it. Now I'm going to create a new um, clone of this. Now it is Ubuntu 19, and um, Ubuntu 19, um, I just installed this so it's absolutely fresh and empty and just clear of everything. So it's sort of any scenario you may run into, uh, I'm mimicking that here with um, this kind of clean environment. Okay, we got our clone created here and I'm going to fire it up. Okay, so we're back inside, um, we're, well, we've got Ubuntu running now. So I'm going to open up a terminal window. Let's make sure this window is the correct size. So the terminal. And we are going to then cut and paste this git clone command. Let's see, boy. That is a low resolution. Let me adjust res. Okay, we are back and got my terminal window up. Okay, so I'm going to paste in that command. It didn't come in. Sorry, shared clipboard. Yep, bidirectional. Okay, now we can do it. Paste. Come on. Okay, so maybe the problem is I did not <clears throat> install the VBox Editions um, CD uh, to add the extensions to this, so I'm going to go do that right now. So when you insert the CD, it auto-runs the install script. It has to kind of do some kernel compiling, and then you do have to do a restart here of your Ubuntu box for the VBox Editions to run correctly. Okay, I'm back. Now, let's check to see if clipboard works. It does, yay. All right, let's get this line. Copy it, paste it, and run it. Okay, I don't have Git. Let's install Git. That okay. Pseudo d package dash dash configure dash it. Okay, that's done running. Let's go back and install Git. Okay, that's done running. Let's now go back and run our original Git clone command. Okay, <clears throat> that's done being checked out. Let's check out our home directory, and we've got this Node MCU firmware ESP32 folder. Just to um, see how big that is, that is 775, it's 758 meg. So it's pretty sizable, just make sure you make a big enough hard drive. All right, we're gonna change into that directory and then we're just gonna run make. Okay, now you can see we have a fatal error with um, curses.h. So if I can remember this, sudo apt install curses. I think it's called ncurses, but I'm not sure. No. This is where I usually will just do a quick lookup. So Ubuntu curses. Yeah, .h. Oh, lib ncurses 5-dev. Paste. Okay, let's run make again. We're going to probably get a few more errors. Okay, so it can't find a flex. So let's do sudo apt install flex. Okay, that's done installing. Let's run make again. We'll probably continue to get more errors. And sure enough, we have an error with bison. So sudo apt install bison. Run make again. Let's see what other error we got. 
gperf sudo apt install gperf. Okay, that's done. Let's try it again. Okay, look at that. We're in. So in this um, SDK tool config, I'm going to go through it really quick. I think this part's okay. Uh, application manager. Yeah, that looks fine. Bootloader config. I think all of these are fine by default. Security. No, I don't really need any security. Serial flasher. I like to go with the full two megabaud. Uh, use compressed upload. Yes, flash size. It'll auto detect the flash size. Okay, partition table. This probably is okay by default. Okay, compiler, optimization mode. That's fine. Component config. No MC miscellaneous. No, don't need that. Bluetooth. Most of these aren't turned on, so I may not add much. Well, that's not true. The node MCU modules is the area that I'm typically inside of. Um, I do want analog to digital. Uh, I do want the bit module. Digital to analog. I don't need. I do need encoder. File, GPIO. Uh, yeah, we'll keep the I2C. I need I2S. LEDC is super handy. Uh, MQTT, I won't do yet. Net node one wire. Uh, SJSON, I use all the time. And SPI, I usually need. Timer, Wi Fi, I always need WS2812. Time, I do need. Pulse counter, this is the one that I created that's now in the main repo. Super awesome because it lets you count pulses easily. Okay, let's exit from there, exit from there, and we are good to go. So exit. Okay, now we have an error. Python not found. sudo apt install python. Okay, that is now installed. So let's run make again. And we're getting an error, no module named serial. So I believe you use pip install pi serial. Oh, okay. sudo apt install python pip. Because python's default install does not include pip, which is a little odd. Okay, now we can do We'll do sudo pip install pi serial. Okay, now we'll run make again. And we're getting another error. We don't have future or pi parsing. Future. And then we'll run pi parsing. Okay, let's run make again. Um, looks like pipe parsing is not available again. Let's do this. Python dash m pip install dash dash user dash r home john new mcu sdk. I guess I could have cut and paste that. Okay, now let's run make. Oh, it's looking good. We're getting dot o files. Okay, while that's running, I'm going to plug in this USB cable to this ESP32 device. You'll hear my Windows laptop um, play the little USB connection sound. And there we go, the little red LED goes on on the device. And I'm going to go back here, and in VirtualBox, you can 
connect your USB direct in. So I'm going to do the CP2102 USB to UART bridge. And when I do that, I should be able to see a TTY USB device show up here. Now I don't. That's not a good sign. Let's click that again. It's saying failed to attach. Huh. Let's disconnect. It should not be in the list. Oh, it's still in it. That's very odd. Try a different port. I heard a connect disconnect. Oh, it's there twice. Let's try that. And good, it's there. So it's TTY USB 0. So that's good. That means that Ubuntu uh, has recognized the, um, the USB device. And now we should be able to use ESP tool from this terminal once the uh, firmware is done compiling to upload it direct to this uh, ESP32 device. Okay, we are done leaving, or sorry, done building, and we can now run make flash, or you can run this whole Python script to kind of understand uh, all of the elements. Uh, you really are flashing your bootloader.bin at this uh, 0x10,000 location, and then nodemcu.bin, and then partitions.bin. So you're kind of splicing together three files. I'm just going to run make flash. And I get an error. That's, I think, because I got to be on sudo. Okay, I'm connecting. It's trying to connect. No, it's not finding it. All right, that didn't work. Let's try it one more time. No, it's not finding it. I'll try and hit the, the uh, boot mail reset. Let's try the boot button. Actually, you got to do boot and then reset. Try it again after I hit that boot reset button. No, that's not looking good either. Okay, so we'll try boot reset one more time. Now, oh, it, it got it. It's writing it. Bada bing, all set. Okay, so now that that's uh, programmed, I'm going to disconnect the USB. I'm going to go back over to Chili Pepper. And I have serial port JSON server running, so now it's picking up it on COM9. I'll connect, and bada bing, I am here. So we can go and hit reset to get these two synced, to get Chili Pepper synced to the serial port JSON server. And I usually hit like heap to see how much memory is and make sure I'm getting a response back. And we are now good to go. Um, so I can upload code. Um, like I'll give you an example. I'll just upload stepjog.lua. And uh, you can see it's sending little commands over here to serial port JSON server, which is writing it into the console. The black check mark means that the ESP32 received the line and processed it, processed it. You can see those yellow checks are when it's sort of in the queue. Uh, and when this is done running, again, I hit upload run, it will compile it and run it. And then, of course, I'm getting you know complaints. But we are all set from a from scratch Ubuntu install to build NodeMCU firmware and then get it running in Chili Pepper. By the way, to run serial port JSON server, I just have this app on my desktop. In fact, I'll close it and show you. It's just in the command line. And then when you're in Chili Pepper, you um, connect to your local host. And then you'll see your device there. And by the way, sometimes I uh, get issues where it doesn't sync. Uh, yeah, it's syncing. There we go. Uh, when you do, you can always just restart Seraport JSON server, uh, or it sometimes helps to pull out the USB cable and plug it back in. 
Um, and then, uh, you know, a lot of restarting of Serapore JSON server. I'm finding on the later versions of Windows, I'm getting more difficulty connecting for some reason. Uh, it used to work pretty seamlessly. But just restarting Serapore JSON server seems to kind of do the trick. Uh, sometimes, though, I do find I have to fully reboot my Windows laptop. Enjoy. <laughs>